Welcome to Top Table Gaming. This is sort of a hobby vlog video. Hi guys, welcome to Top Table Gaming. You're here with your host, Top Table Ben. And in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different again. Um, I, um, I have a week to myself. My other half has gone away on a girly holiday, so it means I've got the house to myself. Um, it means I've got a lot of time to be doing some hobby and things whilst I'm at home. Um, so I thought I'd set myself a bit of a challenge for this week. Um, and essentially, I want to try and see if I can pull together a fully cohesive Middle Earth SBG army in a week. Um, I'm a notoriously slow hobbyist, um, I tend to procrastinate, I um, kind of get sidetracked on other things, so this is going to be a real challenge for me, and by doing it on video and kind of bringing you guys along with me, uh, I think I am kind of just hopefully going to stick to it, hopefully going to get it done. Um, I am going to be doing some stuff that is super, super simple, I'm not going to be uh, painting like a full army of hobbits or anything like that, um, so it is going to be using a lot of contrast paints, I'm going to be using some of Luke's APS uh, base ready stuff, um, just so that I am kind of I can kind of plough through it really, really dead quick. Um, and hopefully, um, by the end of this week, I should have a decent sized force. So. Before I start, I am going to start looking at a an army list uh, and pulling that together so I know what I need to paint. Catch you in a sec. Because I was after a super, super easy and quick army to paint, I decided to go with the Dead of Dunharrow. So to start with, I'm going to start by writing out my army list using trusty pen and paper and referring to my source books. Whatever army you decided to paint, I decided that I wanted to have a minimum of 800 points at its maximum level. But I also wanted to be able to move the army down to 500 points, 600 points, 700 points, 750 points and all the way up to 800 points. This would allow me to use this army in pretty much any tournament or event uh, that I would be likely to attend. Spending some time drawing up my lists, I worked out that I would need to paint up the King of the Dead, four Riders of the Dead, a Banner of the Dead, 26 Warriors of the Dead with various weapons, and last but not least, Aragorn from the Three Hunters box set. Next, I needed to get all the bits of the army together. Fortunately, I did have actually most of this already before I even started this project. However, when I was counting up everything I had, I did find that I was one rider short. But thanks to Element Games, I managed to pick one of these up in very short notice. First up, I opted to build the Metal Riders, thinking that these were probably going to be the slightly more complicated and slightly more time consuming models to put together. I was actually pleasantly surprised to find that they went together quite easily with the minimal amount of work needed to fill the gaps. At this point, one thing that I did find really frustrating was I worked out that I had three of exactly the same pose. So what I was going to try and do is when I was building them, was try and build them ever so slightly differently. So potentially move the arms into different positions and potentially maybe look at doing some arm or weapon swaps. Uh, unfortunately, I decided not to do that in the end, but the repositioning of the arms did the job well enough for what I wanted. So whilst I was waiting for the super glue to cure on the metal models, I decided to move on to the plastics. Now, I know that this plastic kit is quite old. However, the first time that I've actually really taken a close look at the kit was when it came as part of the Pelinor Fields box set. Um, 
But whilst I was assembling them, I had a new appreciation for these models. There is a lot of detail on them. Uh, and considering they are aged, they are not a new kit, as I said, uh, there is a lot of detail on them. And they are a kit that I, I really enjoyed putting together. I found them quite easy, quite intuitive. Uh, and yeah, I think they, they just look quite cool. I opted to leave the shields off quite a few of the Warriors of the Dead uh, and I intend to magnetise them at a later date. It means that I've got the flexibility then within the army to lose a few points or add a few points depending on what points level I'm playing at. With everyone assembled, including some old metal models, it was time for some priming. I opted to use the new Grey Sear Primer by Games Workshop. This gave a really clear, even coverage uh, compared to some other light coloured primers such as Corax White that I've used in the past. Next up comes the painting. For these guys I decided to use uh, Citadel Contrast Griff Charger Grey uh, to give them a nice ghostly grey colour. Now the strap line for contrast paints is one thick coat, however, whilst experimenting on these models I found that if you put a thinner layer on you got a much much better result. With a thinner coat it left more of the white areas towards the raised edges which gave you a more ghostly finish which would save you a little bit more time later on. The brilliant thing about painting in this method is that you can paint an entire army in literally under an hour. This lot took me about 45 minutes to complete in full. Another tip for using contrast is to use a much bigger brush than you were normally used to. For this I was using a medium shade brush. The reason for this is it holds a lot more paint and it allows you to move the paint around the model rather than just kind of placing it exactly where the point of the brush goes. Before you move on to the next step, make sure the contrast paint has fully dried. Once all the miniatures are painted and are fully dried, um, you move on to the basing. For this I'm using Steel Legion Drab and what I've already done with this paint is I've already thinned it down slightly, hence why I'm using it directly out of the pot. For this step I'm using a large base brush and I am painting the entirety of the base of the model. The reason I'm painting the base uh, rather than just going straight for the basing material is just that if any of the basing material falls off I don't want to be able to see the white undercoat on the underside, I want it to look brown like the rest of the base. I'm also using this opportunity to give two thin coats of paint around the base to prevent streaking uh, and kind of lines and things forming around the edge of the model whilst I'm painting it. I'm obviously using Steel Legion Drab here, however please feel free to use whatever base colour and whatever rim colour you like to match the rest of your armies. So whilst I was waiting for those bases to dry, I decided to assemble uh, Aragon from the Three Hunters kit. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful model. It was a little bit fiddly to get uh, put together, um, but it's an absolutely amazing model. Uh, I've seen this in the flesh a few times, but again, once you put, whilst you're putting it together yourself, you have a newfound appreciation for, um, for models. Although not painting Legolas and Gimli as part of this tutorial, uh, I will definitely, definitely be adding them to this army at a later date. Once he was fully built, uh, I decided to prime him in black and give a zenithal highlight with grey sear again. As I haven't painted an Aragorn model for a long time, I did go and have a quick look on YouTube for some good tutorials on painting him. One of the best tutorials I found out there was by a guy called Pete the Wargamer, and I will put a link to this tutorial in the description below. 
But following this tutorial, I did pick up on a few bits that Pete does differently to what I would normally do, but I did stick very closely to what Pete had, was advising in his video, and I feel like I've learned a few bits um, by doing so. As I said at the beginning, this was a very, very quick project, so I wanted to get Aragon painted in record time. This is probably one of the quickest heroes I've ever painted, and it took me about an hour and a half in total. With Aragorn finished, that was all the models from my army painted. Next up is the basing, and I decided to use the Luke's APS base ready system. The beauty of using this system is basically you cover the base with glue, dunk it in some of the base ready material, uh, in this case this is arid grassland, and let it dry. Once it's dry it is nice and firmly stuck on, plus you've got a nice blend of basing material which looks really natural. I opted to use arid grassland because to me it represented the Pelennor fields really really well. The glue that I'm using here is the Luke's APS fast drying basing glue uh, and you place it onto the, directly onto the base and move it around with an old paintbrush. Once the base is completely covered you dunk it into your basing material and when the glue dries it forms like a rubbery type of texture and it really grips onto uh, the basing material really, really well. Knock off the excess and it's fully ready and based. The beauty of this system is it is super, super quick and I managed to base this entire army in less than half an hour. Once the glue is dry, you can go and add some tufts of your choice to the base of the models. In this situation, I'm using a combination of light green and dark green tufts just to represent the floor of the Pelennor fields. And so there we have it. The army is fully complete and done in less than a week. So guys, what do you think of my, well, less than a week's worth of work? Um, I started this project on, I think it was Monday evening. Um, I didn't think it would go quite as quick as it has. Um, I'm recording this section of the video on Sunday afternoon. Um, <laughs> as I say, I, I thought this was going to go on for much longer. Um, I didn't feel any time pressure on this, and this week I've had an incredibly, incredibly busy week. I thought I was going to get a bit more hobby time in. Um, but I've managed to comfortably finish an 800 point army in less than a week. So for anybody out there who is kind of new to SPG or kind of wants to dip their toe in but don't want to invest a load of time painting on a full army and things, I think Army of the Dead is the way to go. If you've got the Pelennor Fields box set, um, you've already got 20 um, uh, Warriors of the Dead. 
There is a brand new King of the Dead that has gone up for pre-order this weekend, just gone. So make sure that you are using our affiliate link. Um, that's in the description below to purchase that. That helps out the channel. But it's a superb bottle and I cannot wait to get my hands on him. And I'm definitely going to be adding some heralds to this army. Uh, the new King of the Dead, you've seen that I've already painted the, uh, the old King of the Dead. Um, now, just a bit of a caveat around this. Uh, these are never going to win a golden demon. Um, they are super simply painted. You know, I've relied quite heavily on very basic techniques, such as using contrast paints and dry brushing. Um, and even like the basing material is, uh, you know, it's very very simple. It's come out. They look great. And I'm really happy with the effect. And you know, for me, it's an, it's another army painted, and it's another army that was just sat in a box here. And actually, I'm now going to be able to get these on camera. I'm able to play a few games with them. Um, you know, if people come around and want to play with my armies, I've got an extra army that I can throw on the table as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really, really pleased that I managed to get another army done. Um, I loved painting the Aragorn uh, from the Three Hunters kit. Uh, I was going to assemble Legolas and Gimli, they weren't on my agenda uh, for doing any time soon. But um, the Aragorn model is so, so good. Uh, I am really, really tempted to um, get Legolas and Gimli painted up now as well. Um, I've got other projects that I need to kind of get done uh, sooner uh, than they need to be painted, but I will be getting those done um, over the next few weeks, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with them. Uh, and as I say, in less than a week, I have managed to get 800 points worth of models painted, which is fantastic. So if you enjoyed this sort of video, um, it's something that I would like to try and do again, maybe not around building an army in a week, but doing some, trying to uh, try to do some sort of hobby task or try and do some sort of um, hobby venture and try and sort of set myself a deadline of about a week to get it done. Uh, I might attempt another army, but this one is particularly easy to paint, so uh, some of the other armies are a little bit more involved. Um, but if you like this video, make sure you put it on the comments below. Um, why don't you suggest some things that you'd like to, me to see me get done in a week, uh, and I might try and sort of steal some of those ideas and get some of those ideas done. Um, but that's it from me guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later.